Right guys, I've been flat out with normal work, man. Plus I've been helping Rufy out with Milo 2. I've been helping Dean from the Bush Company out with his 40 series Land Cruiser. So I thought it was about time I got back on the Lux, back on my own truck and did a bit of work. So I got a bit done, don't get me wrong. We got the bonnet back on, we got the wings back on. I've got the driver's door on with the glass and some of the components inside. I've painted the grill. I've got these new crystal headlights in, man. They're gonna be wicked. But while I was doing this, right, my mate Hilton from um, Flying Paint came down and he saw me doing a bit of the panel work. And I think he was a bit appalled, to be honest, because uh, he, he offered to do one of the doors for me just to show what he could do. Now, luckily, the last door to be done was the worst door. I was leaving the, the worst till last. So um, he's taken it away and mate, it's come back and Look at it, it's the much nuts. It just shows you what a professional panel beater sprayer can do. Don't get me wrong, what I'm using the truck for, the job, the panel work on there is fine, but it just shows you what the professionals are capable of. And I think he's trying to make a point by making me do the top coat, but anyway. Anyway, getting on. Tonight, it's one of those Friday night things uh, down at the Bush Company, and thanks to them again for letting me use their, their space and the hoist. Uh, we got the, the Brake components turned up, so I thought get a big job knocked over and get on with it on a Friday night. So what we got? We got the, the brake, the rotors, uh, and they're Disc Brake Australia rotors. Now these are good quality rotors. Um, you know, I don't want to use rubbish. They warp easily. So anyway, we got uh, Bendix brake pads. Uh, they're really good quality. And we got the, the, uh, the caliper kits. Now we're going to be splitting the calipers in their entirety and, and going over them. And also give them a coat of paint at the end. Always like a bit of that. And then we got the rear shoes and rear, brand new rear wheel cylinders for both sides. Uh, we're going to be checking the, the drums out. They should be cool. We'll just give them a, rub them down inside, give them a coat of paint and put them back on. So anyway, let's go on with it. Right, so here we go. Fronts first, 21 inch socket, breaker bar, tunes going, late at night, let's have some. So look, I can't find me bloody um, circuit removers, so it's back to the old school, two screwdrivers. And when you're as good as me, come off just like that. Right, over to the bench, swap the rotors. Nice new rotors on there. Sweet. Now make sure you give the, the bearings a bit more of a grease, just pack them a little bit more, it can never hurt. Now there's plenty of grease in the hub, so I'm going to leave that. So yeah, got a bit of degreaser, just, uh, just going to clean down the, uh, the, the, uh, the locking hubs. So when it all goes back on, it looks schmick. So I've cleaned up part of the uh, locking hub, it's come up a right treat, look all nice and shiny. Always remember, put a little bit of grease in, in it before you put it back on. Lovely jubbly, never hurts. Now comes my favourite bit, getting the C-clip back on.
when I was relatively painless. So I'm just repainting the end toggle um, red, keeping keeping with the Hilux locking hubs. Um, so let's crack on with the calipers. Right, I'm just about to crack on with the refurb of the caliper. Now these ones are in, they're in pretty good nick to be honest, but I wanted to do a proper job, so we're going to do it anyway. So in the refurb kit, you get the uh, the piston seals themselves, you get the the dust uh, boots and the, the dust boot retaining clip. Now it's not always uh, the case that you have to split the, the caliper, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to replace these little O-rings that go in the middle. And while I'm there, I'm going to do the usual and clean them up and paint them so they look smick when they go back on. So just finished cleaning up uh, each side, each half of the caliper. What I'm going to do now is just mask up the surfaces here to stop the paint from, from getting on there so it matches up nicely. Going to put the seal kits in them, build them up, get them back on the truck. So there we go. Right, now make sure you mask up the joining surfaces and also ball up a bit of masking tape and put it in the nipple hole. It just protects all those surfaces from paint. Now we're using a bit of red caliper paint here and now it's all about the layers. Now don't be go putting too much on all at once. It needs about four or five layers to get a really nice shine that will look really schmick later on. While those calipers were drying up the front, I thought it would be a great opportunity to strip down the passenger side rear brake assembly. Now always let off those adjusters all the way, make it nice and easy to get the drum off. Now once we got the drum off, it became pretty obvious straight away that the rear wheel cylinder had been leaking for quite some time. The road grime and dust build up on all the components was terrible. So always make sure you've got a nice clean work surface to work on. There are a lot of pretty small components in these brakes. Nothing to be scared of, but just needs to be laid out nice so you can get them and clean them up and put them back on the same way they come off. So as you can see, the rear brakes need some pretty hefty refurbishment work. Uh, there's so much dirt in here and the other side's even worse. The, and there's a lot of corrosion on the other side. So I'm not gonna get as much done tonight as I had hoped. But that's the nature of doing these jobs and, and refurbing these trucks like we do. But um, nevertheless, I'll get on it first thing next week and we'll get this knocked out. But in the meantime, I'm definitely going to get the front done. We're going to see how those calipers are getting on. So it's a bit chilly tonight. The, uh, the calipers are taking a bit longer to dry than I expected. So I'm probably just going to get the, uh, the locking hub cap back on and live to fight another day. It's a shame I didn't get it all done in one night, but that's the way it goes sometimes with these old trucks. The next day I managed to get the caliper on and I finished the rear passenger side uh, drums. But don't worry guys, we've got the driver's side to do, so that'll be coming up in another video.